Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back and going medieval. I am going to unpause the game. We've got our little village here started with our three villagers. They are working away. Looks like they're harvesting some, excuse me, harvesting some hay. Now this guy looks like he's hacking this one away. So that is now gone forever. I don't know if we'll get to plant it. And then they're off doing more trees. Let's see, our tutorial is not guiding us on what to do next. Let me go ahead and pause and jump into the almanac. Oh, well, actually, we said at the end of the last episode, we we're going to look at this top left set of menus. Let's do that real quick. All right, that prompted the tutorials. So killed two birds with one stone. Tutorial jobs, job priorities. The job panel is where you can prioritize each settler's tasks. By default, settlers will prioritize their jobs from left to right. Using the right and left mouse buttons, you can change job priorities that a given settler will choose one job before the other. Okay. Jobs set to the same love priority level will, will be prioritized from left to right. All right. So that's not going to be random. If you do these two threes right here, that's basically this three is going to, the mining's going to happen before the cut plants here. If the job box is empty, that means that a settler will never do that job. Okay, that makes sense. Settlers will always do the highest priority jobs they can find. If a specific job is not on anybody's priority list, that job will never get done. The frame color of a job box indicates the settler's skill level. Ooh, I a little bit colorblind or maybe a lot of bit colorblind. <laughs> so we'll have to just, uh, we'll have to just play this by ear since I can't see it. Let's just see job set to the same priority level. Okay. That all makes sense. Let's, we're in there now. Here's our three people. And let's see. Oh, increase all, decrease all. Not sure what the net effect of that is. I guess if I say I had something that was a priority level one, and I actually wanted to make it lower than something next to it that had a priority level one, maybe I would hit increase all and then just go to the one that changed from one to two and, and put it down a level. Hopefully that makes sense to you, but that must be what those are for. And here are the different jobs. Tend. Not sure what that is. If that's tending to each other or what that is. Convalesce. That's healing. Hunting. Makes sense. Construction. Grow. Harvest. Not sure the difference between grow and harvest unless it's planting versus kind of reaping. Uh, mining. Cut plants. Ooh, that's another one that kind of I'm wondering how that has to do with harvest. Cooking. Craft. We'll find out. Smithing, carpentry, tailoring, research, steward, and hall. All right. Everybody, everything is three. So everything is equal. Then we can do some copy and some paste. Let's just let it go. Everything is average. Schedule. Okay. Tutorial schedule. Schedule panel. You can use the schedule panel to modify the time of day your settler should do each type of activity. Interesting. So did we have anybody like a night owl or something? I wonder if that comes into play. Our, our uh, settlers seem to have a lot of characteristics, individual characteristics. So it could be that if we had Yvette here and that person turned into being like, or turned out to be like a night owl, maybe they would like to work later at night and wake up or sleep through the day or something. We'll, we'll see as we go, I guess. Uh, we'll leave it all as the default right now. They're getting only, looks like one, two, three, six hours of sleep. Okay, let's go to manage. Use the manage panel to determine which items your settlers will auto equip, what food and alcohol they're allowed to consume, etc. You can still force settlers to consume or equip something useful. You, I mean, something using the right click action menu. All right, all right. Got it. So let's see. Manage weapon, manage shield, manage headgear. So I'm thinking we should maybe do this. Um, why not? Okay, draft. I think this means they're eligible to be called into battle. I think that's what that means. I could be wrong. I don't have a pop up here. I am getting an option to do something to move. Click on the target to, okay. I'm not sure. Stance flee. 
Undrafted stances flee. Okay. Manage weapon. Let's do... I'll tell you why I'm thinking about this. There are some weapons sitting here. We've got a sturdy steel short sword. We've got a bow. We've got a shield sitting here. And another bow. So it looks like we got two bows. This one looks like a long bow. This is a short bow. And I don't know if there's ammunition. I don't see that. Linen. That's going to come in handy probably for clothing. Um, Mushrooms. And that's some of the food we harvested. So it seems like we should have somebody armed, right? So if we go back to manage... Let's, until we understand what we're doing, let's just say, uh, yeah, let's do all weapons. Uh, let's, yeah, let's do, <laughs> sorry. Melee one-handed. That would be the sword, I'm guessing. Shield, sure. And then let's look at Mark. Mark is going to do range because we have two bows. No shields. We'll worry about headgear in a second. And Juliana can do ranged. Juliana. Juliana. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Let's do ranged. No shield. Okay, do we have headgear? How about all headgear? I suppose our archers are supposed to have something lighter, like a hat. A cap, right? Ability for sticks. Oh, it's, I'm just looking at the bottom left here. Things are toggling, but I think it's just, it's seeing what's underneath. All headgear for now. Apparel, all apparel. Great. Manage armor, no armor. Uh, how about all armor for him and no armor for the archers? All food. Stimulants. Oh no. All stimulants. Okay. That's it for man, for the manage. Construct a research bench to unlock new research items. So we can't get into that menu until we construct a research bench. That might be a good thing to do. And then region. Oh. So is this the larger map? Must, could possibly be. Showing at the bottom of the screen, our region influence is 3.5. And we got a pop up here as your settlement grows. So does your influence in the region. To gain influence, you must enrich your wealth by amassing resources and constructing buildings. Victory in battle and repelling enemy raids increases your influence even faster. Reaching 100% influence means your settlement is the most influential in the region. Well, we're just right around the corner. We're at 3.5. We only need to get to 100. All right. So, yeah. So, that little map that we saw, that chunk, that must just be like the starting piece. And we've got maybe places we can expand to or... Yeah, we'll have to see. Because I didn't see any other settlements or anything when we kind of scrolled around our little our little view of the world here, right? We're paused. Let's take a quick look. Yeah, this is tiny. So we're either going to... The map is going to reveal itself as we get to the edges. Or something else is going to happen. But this is clearly not all the uh, world that we need to kind of deal with and worry about. Or work within. I got lots of trees marked. I'm wondering if I have too many. I only got three people and I marked about, I don't know, it looks like about 700 trees. But I suppose we could always dial down the responsibilities. Uh, let's see, we did all that. Let's look at building those, um, building those religious temple buildings. Where is that? Probably scrolling right by it. I probably did it twice already. I apologize for that. Here we go. Restitutionist Shrine. It just takes 80 wood. Wow. How big is that? Let's put it right near the house. How about this? They may not like this. <laughs> this may not be the best idea. But let's put these two shrines right near each other. This may be a horrible, horrible idea. But I'm going to do it. <laughs> I can put a backgammon table in between. I'm guessing these can be outside. Keep them by the habitat. That's where they are, or the house. That's where they are going to be coming in and out of, I imagine. Let's build a roof. Oh, boy. How do we do this? Uh, thatched roof. Okay. Thatched roof. 
Hover effectiveness, 100%. Thermal instance. Oh, different variations here. Thatched. Wicker. Roof fashioned from bundled sticks. Or we got wooden. Offers protection from the elements. These ones don't say they do. Let's see. If I click these, I'm going to get more information, right? Hit points 200. Hit points 350. Thermal insulation, 7. Wow, the... the uh, Wicker has better insulation than the wood. What else we got? Limestone, no thanks. Uh, thatched roof, half. Partial roof fashioned from bundles of hay, laid flat, and pinned with wooden rods. Okay. Rustic and waterproof. Bundled sticks. Points 200. Thermal, 82. Unfortunately, we got a bunch of wood, but the insulation is the worst, right? Quicker, we gotta fetch sticks. Um, yeah, I guess as they're cutting the trees, we're getting sticks and we're getting uh we're getting wood. Let's do the one that's insulated, I guess. Hopefully it's not like a tinder box. It won't light on fire very super duper easy. The other option is thatch. Let's do the wicker roof and see if we can figure this out. Um oh, 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 okay. I kind of see. I'm trying to rotate so you guys, so I can show you what I'm doing, but it's not letting me. Um, I escaped that. Let's see. We have a cancel. Cancel to give an order. Hmm. Can I get rid of that? Looks like I can. Cancel. Okay, let's build this a better. I think. I'll learn as we go. It's going to be a little slow here for sure in the beginning. Wicker roof, that's what we have marked. Can I start it? Can I rotate it? I can. And I cannot, I can't do an overhang. I was going to try and overhang it, but it looks like we get a little bit of an overhang automatically. Uh, I think that covers it. Boom. Right click to get out of that. And let me try right clicking again, see if this goes away. It does not. I hit escape and I hit play. Okay, now they've got some more stuff to build. I'm a little nervous about food. I guess I can have them harvest this tall grass while it's ripe. Seems like we should be taking advantage of that. So we have this as a building material. But let's look around for food, food-like things. This is an ivy shrub. What does it give us? Sticks. Uh, that's kind of low priority. Same thing sticks. Let's look for food. Okay, here's food. Growth phase mature. Let's harvest some of this. Boom. Basically doing this while these guys are out doing their uh, tree cutting. And I'm looking for food. Is there any resource? We have limestone pile. I guess we can un... Restrict those. What do we got in here? Bones. Ew. Okay. There we go. And let's harvest some more mushrooms. Hopefully they can get by just eating mushrooms. Because it looks like we've got a lot of those. And then eventually we're going to have to build some crops. At least they have a home. Now, we know there's a roof here. It looks very cool. But I'm going to toggle this like uh, hide the roof button. We can still see the shadow of it. Uh, can we put a torch in that room? Wooden torch. Will that go on the wall? How about between the beds? Give that a shot. See how that works. All right. We also... Let's see what else we can build. Basic research table. We know we need that. Now, does that need to be inside a house or not? Let's build another building. And this will be like the main, the main where stuff gets done building. So we will make this fairly big. Boom. No wind, not many windows in this building, unfortunately. So we'll put, I'll leave some room for some more windows. Again, I'm thinking this is going to be like a 
the main hall. <laughs> I don't know, really know what I'm doing. I'm just playing. So we'll find out if this makes sense. It's not going to be beautiful, but it is going to be functional, hopefully. Let's get a door here before I forget. One should be plenty. And then do I have room for another window? Here, 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 here. Uh, window here. Unfortunately, I stepped on some mushrooms, it looks like. I don't know if these windows require... It looks like it just requires 12 wood, so we don't have to get glass. We're not wasting some precious resource, doesn't look like. Okay, we got a few more walls to place there and there. And there. And this may be a horrible, horrible waste of resources the way I'm doing it. But I want to do it just for fun. And let's put a roof on this bad boy. Uh, we'll go with wicker again. This time, let's do it sideways. Or, and is it, it's going to complain. Not enough allowed resources. All right. All right. We could do a wood roof. Let's try that. Again, we'll rotate it. I guess we'll get to see something different and learn the pros and cons. I don't have enough resources of the, that either. Might have to be in the stockpile. All right. A roof needs two or more points to rest upon in order to be placed. All right. Maybe they need the, uh, yeah, it needs to be built first, the whole wall, most likely. All right. What's going on here? These guys are snoozing away. Oh, I'm on super duper fast speed. I don't know how that happened. Here they are snoozing. Sleeping, 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 and it looks like Juliana's got her bow, and Edgar's got his sword, and Mark says, I ain't doing it. So let's look here. There was a bow. Is he not allowed to get the bow? Right? Wasn't there an extra bow here? It's right there. Let's see. Ranged. Edit weapon. Melee one, melee two. So... This, let's see, high armor penetration, attack bonus, low armor and shield damage. Anything I need to do for this? Okay, toggle forbid. It's not forbidden. Two-handed. Is there anything I need to do to indicate two-handed? Drop item, ranged, all weapons, melee two, edit weapon. Um, profile ranged. Yeah, I don't know why that T's not picking it up. Might be something you guys are seeing that I'm not. But it seems like we have him set for ranged. That's this guy. Why he's not picking up the weapon. All right, we'll let it go. We'll just see what happens. We're still playing here at single speed. Everybody is snoozing. Okay, Mark. Mark got kicked over into the corner here. And Juliana said, actually, I kind of don't mind being over here next to Edgar. So they're snoozing away. Let's see what else we can do while they're doing that. We've got some mushrooms. We can mark this. Let's go back to stats. Current growth phase mature. Let's harvest. And let's take a look at the build menu. Okay, he's having bad dreams or something. Production. Oh, we want to get that uh, table in here. Maybe even before the roof. Let's get that research table built. Not backgammon. How about the... It was... Basic research table. Like I said, this is going to be kind of our main hall, I'm thinking. Now, let's see if we can interpret what needs to happen. I'm guessing it's like that. So the arrow, I'm guessing, is where they're going to stand. But uh, I'm not positive. We may have to destroy some things a few times before we figure it out. There it goes. We've got it placed. I think that's going to unlock this research menu up here in the top left. What else can we build? Oh, I was thinking maybe putting the backgammon table, backgammon, 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 not sure how to pronounce that, uh, into the little homestead that they're at. 
Where was that? Two sellers can enjoy a game backgammon for entertainment. All right, let's do it. Hopefully they're not going to make a bunch of noise while people are trying to sleep. Okay, the home's got a roof. The kind of main hall here does not. Everybody's building. We got stuff marked to harvest. We got more here that can be harvested. Nervous about food. Always in city builder games, I'm nervous about food. It is probably the most common way to not make it. Got a little batch of hay here that can be harvested. I think we're going to need that for building materials. Bunch of stuff laying around. We have clay. Maybe I'll unforbid something like that. Okay, meal preparation missing. Boom. Oh, what's it say? Construct a workstation that turns raw food into meals, like a campfire or a stove. Meals can improve your settler's move. Okay, there's campfire. That seems like that belongs outside, right? Let's pop it kind of in the center square here. Boom. Butchering table. A station for hanging and preparing meat from carcasses. Let's pop that in our main little town hall here. Right next to the research table. Someone can be carving up some raw meat. How's that sound? Like I said, this first time playing, so I don't know if this building should be teeny weeny or if this makes sense to go big from the beginning. It is consuming a lot of resource and a lot of time. Hopefully our enemies aren't like on their way over. You've unlocked the research panel. Very good. So there's our craft table. Let's just click on it. Oh. Tutorial production. To start producing something, select a workstation, add a product from the product list, set the number of products you want your settlers to make, and that's it. Tip, set the food prep production to until you have mode, so your settlers will continuously produce if they have material, up to the required number. Hmm. Let's go give that a shot. I'm gonna let her, I'm gonna let the game run. We've got a bunch of stuff for them to do. No one should be idle. Okay, I've got the basic research table selected. It has hit points and durability, so maybe if this whole place burns, this this thing has a little bit of life to it before it collapses. A place to begin your studies of new item. It has hit points. It's telling us where it's located. It is connected to a stable structure. Cover effectiveness, 20%. Okay, we need to probably put a roof on. Cover effectiveness indicates what percentage of incoming projectiles will be stopped. Projectiles will ignore cover that is three by three, or three times, three grid spaces in front of the shooter. This means that archers standing behind Merlons will be protected, but their arrows will not be stopped by the Merlon. Okay, almost everything offers some cover from bushes to torches. This means that for archers to have the best shot, they need a clear, unobstructed line of sight. Huh, I'm not sure about that. Let's see if we can make some food. Did this get built yet? Not yet. Cover effectiveness, 5%. All right. I'm sure you can have a campfire inside a building. That's why I'll put it out there. Ooh, our shrines are up. Hopefully that's uh, creating some happiness. Okay, here followers align with the Church of Restitution, gather to play and pray. And we can also, you know, add this, create a wall around this and maybe, maybe put a roof over as well. I'm not sure. Don't know if we can move things. So if I click it, copy, deconstruct, maybe we get something back. Not sure. Still working on our grand hall here. There is some resource collection still going on. Food. We have a campfire slated to be built. Be cool if there's a button to like just say, hey, prioritize this. Fire for light, warmth, and cooking. Gather around, bring a story. Wooden stool. Ten wood for a wooden stool. All right. Let's see what else we have to build. If there's anything that is like farm, looks like a farm. 
It's all furniture. I doubt that's going to be farm stuff. This is the shrine and the backgammon table. Do we have the backgammon table built yet? No, it looks like it's just a uh, silhouette there. Okay, fence, pyre, unmarked grave, banner, a jaunty pennant, flutters in the breeze. I don't know what this is for. It's a morale builder. Select variant. Okay, I don't see a variant. Jaunty pennant plunders in the breeze. I don't know what that's for. If that's just decoration, I'm going to right click to get out of it. And the fence we can't use yet. Stick trap. I don't know where to even put those. Default stockpile. So I'm not seeing anything that screams farm to me yet. I see, you know, in the bottom right here, ooh, hunt. Mark animals for your hunters to target. I did not notice any animals. I'll unmark some of these resources. I'm not sure if that's wise or unwise. Oh, research. Did we pick research? Not yet. Here we go. Tutorial research. Unlock new building options and production types in the research panel. Various forms of knowledge in the form of books are available to unlock research items. Unlocked research items will not consume the books. All right, take care of your books. Having them destroyed or stolen will disable unlocking new research items until a previously allocated amount is reached. Books, chronicle, textbook, and thesis are produced at the research table. Basics research table. Okay, so we probably need to assign someone to research, right? I'm a little confused here. Unlocked research items, not can see in the books. Okay. Various forms of knowledge in the form of books are available to unlock research. Okay, we got to create books at the research table and then use those books. So that's like our, if you play factory games, which I play a ton, those are like the science packs, I take it. Okay, Glane Botany Skills, now level nine. Very good. Okay, Architecture looks like it's the start. Okay, unlocks the wooden beam. Beams of solid wood have held up the floors and ceilings of England for centuries. What do I got to do? Requirements, none. Unlock. Right? It says none. Unlock. Boom. Okay, I see a little check mark there. So we can build something. Agriculture seems to make sense, right? We've been talking about it. That's going to get us our farms. This requires... Okay, requires architecture. I'm not sure what this icon's trying to tell me. Maybe you know available. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the different types of research um, books. We got Chronicle. It says simple tales and facts laid down on skin. Available 10. Amount available for unlocking new research. Allocated is 15. Amount used up for unlocked researches. Okay. Okay. I think I get that. We've spent 15 so far and we've got 10 more available. I'm guessing. So we need 15 more for agriculture. If I hit unlock, nothing happens because we don't have it. So we need someone to start creating chronicles for us at the research station, which is right here. Oops, that's the, uh, not the research station. That's the butcher block. Let's look at our management screen. And do we have someone who is uh, smart for doing this stuff? For Maybe it's the intellectual. I see intellectual nine here for Edgar. Intellectual two for Mark. Sorry, Mark. And intellectual nine with a couple stars next to Gileana. And I click her. Let's see down here at the bottom right. What we get, intellectual, okay, used for research and faster research, skill nine, very passionate. The settler will gain four times more experience for this skill. We need to get her doing research. So let's go to manage again. Uh, sorry, jobs, Gileana. We need to increase the priority of research. One is done first, so I'm going to primary click to move this up. I want I want her doing that 
probably pretty much all the time. So she's chowing down some MREs, it looks like. What are these things? Packaged meal pile. Oh, that sounds delicious. Let's pause here. And let's see if we can get some food being produced at this building. It looks like it's built. I may have to go into the tutorial to figure out how to do it again. Uh, deconstruct, copy, we don't need that. That's 20, description of fire, yes. Cost effectiveness, produces meal, packaged meal. Production queue. Okay. Products, I've got one choice, meals. What does it take? 12 cooking material and a fuel. Um, whoops. And they said the amount until you have. Okay. How about until you have 20? Cook until you have 20. And you need cooking material. Is that like mushrooms? Let's look at our almanac and just see if we can find something here around. Food. Uh, game speed stockpot orders. Construction production. Production was the one, right? Their product. No more products you want sellers to make. Okay, we that's not helping us. Look at let's look at the index. Food. Meal. Um, I think all we have here is it's just called <laughs> it's just called meal. Do we have something that's just called meal here? I don't see anything just called meal. Hmm. Let's see what it says for packaged meal here. Hunting or working in the fields can really build up a hunger. A cold wrapped meal will keep you going. Meals editable. Versus meals, campfire. Okay, produce. Let's look at this uh, package meal. Yeah, I don't see what that is. That's a little frustrating. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Plants, mushrooms. Fungi of the field and forest. Many are edible. Some are delicious. Cultivatable. Cultivable. Bull. Nope. Present soil and grass. Four days. Sow time. Four. Base yield. Okay, what is that? Mushroom. Just looking to see. There's cooking material right there. So there's a resource category. It is a cooking material. So hopefully those mushrooms can be used to make... What, I, what I'm guessing here is a packaged meal, even though it just says meal. Let's hit play. And then uh, actually, let's leave it paused. Tell you what, let's wrap this episode here. We started building our main hall, or a main hall, and we've got it built. It's pretty beautiful. There's no roof on it yet. We've got a research station here, and we've assigned uh, Juliana to the research station. She's got... Pretty good skills here for, whoops, <laughs> shrub. Uh, she's not a shrub. Let's click on her. She's got pretty good intellectual skills, which says is good for research. And then we went into the management tab real quick. Or, oops, sorry, the jobs tab and made it a high priority, right? Priority highest for research. So hopefully she'll cycle through and start doing this. Uh, next episode, we'll look and see if there's any materials required to get started because I don't see her over here doing her thing. But yeah, that's it for this one. For analysis, Glattercat signing off saying I will see you in the next episode.